Hi there. Once again together in this 40 days. The power of 40. The Lord Jesus Christ was led by the Spirit to the wilderness. And there he was fasting, he was praying in preparation for his ministry for 40 days and 40 nights. Of course, we know our Lord Jesus Christ did not need that quarantine in the wilderness because he was already the Son of God. He did not need to be there, but he showed us the way, you know, Everything the Lord Jesus did here on earth was to give us an example. Like, there was no need for him to be born of a woman, to be baptized in water, to receive the Holy Spirit because <laughs> he is the Holy Spirit. There was no need to be 40 days, 40 nights in the wilderness. To be on the mountain, Jesus was a man of mountains. He was always on the mountain. But he did so to show us an example, to show us what we have to do and how we have to do. Now, think with me. If our Lord Jesus, being God, did the 40 days, went to the wilderness, much, much more us. So you who are watching me right now, you who are falling step by step, I want to advise you, what you are doing is following the example of Jesus. He gave us the recipe, and we need to follow it. I'm going to pray to you after this commercial. I want to show to you right now uh, what the power of 40 is all about. Because we have been here with these videos every single day. This is our third step and perhaps you do not know what you are doing let me show to you 40 is the number that symbolizes a change a preparation for something great a period of time that is marked throughout the bible as a point of transcendence and the achievement of something great reserved by god for those who would believe Forty days, Jesus fasted in the desert. Forty days it rained upon the earth and Noah's ark. Forty days, Elijah fasted. Forty days, Moses stayed at the top of Mount Sinai. Forty days, forty prayers. 40 steps to the top. 40 day journey. God will teach you how to overcome. All the heroes of faith obeyed, follow the recipe, the word of God, and they did succeed. Right now, I want you to place your hands upon mine here on your screen of your TV, your computer, smartphone. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and the Father, we are praying to you and we give you thanks because you are God in heaven and also here on earth. You did in the past, you are going to do in the present, in these 40 days, in this journey. This person, Lord, has a journey of tears, a journey of suffering. She is in her thirties, twenties, forties, fifties. I don't know their age. But every decade, this person has been in suffering, has been in pain. Nothing works for this person. What people get easily for hearts to heart. The journey of this person has been a journey of suffering, losses. But this 40 days journey is for this person to accomplish, my father, what she needs, what she wants, and to overcome the biggest problem. God of Abraham, Isaac, Moses, God of the Bible, I pray right now that after these 40 days, 
this person may be empowered, victorious, a winner, conqueror. This person may celebrate the new year even before December 31st. Because this 40 days journey is our spiritual fight to war to achieve what we want. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Blessed are you. Receive the Lord's power, the Lord's strength. Tomorrow again I will be back with our fourth day journey of faith. We are heading somewhere. This year is about to finish. Less than two months to go. But we have to press forward. We have to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tell a friend of yours about these 40 days of empowerment of faith. May the Lord Jesus bless all of you. Let us go in this power of 40. Join us tomorrow in our journey of faith and invite your friends and family to join by sharing this link with all your contacts. Subscribe to this channel and you can get daily videos that will help you start and finish this 40-day journey of faith.